Dr. Light had a dream of a utopian future where man and machine work side by side. To that end, he created his robot children, Rock and Roll, as well as the first robot masters. But the nefarious Dr. Wily turned the robot masters into weapons and tried to take over the world. Rock had himself transformed into Mega Man so that he could combat his robot brothers, stop Dr. Wily, and protect the innocent. On a completely different world, Sonic the Hedgehog protects his home planet from the evil Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman once used the power of the Chaos Emeralds to create the Genesis Wave and rewrite all of reality. Sonic undid the damage, returning his world to normal, though the Chaos Emeralds that fueled the event went missing. And this is where our story begins. Green Hill Zone, Sonic's World, now! Come on! Is that all you got, Blue Boy? Not on your life, Pincushion! This thing would give Quick Man a run for his money. Not bad. Seen better, but, uh, not bad. I'm still faster. Man, this guy this can guy take, can a, take hit. a hit! Are you receiving this, Masters? Every glorious, Every glorious second, second kills, kills man, man, and, and we, we are loving it. it! That's it, Hedgehog, turn him to scrap! Go, Mega Man, go! Exterminate the rodent! Congratulations on a plan coming together so well, Doctor! It's all falling into place better than I dare dream, Doctor. Quite so! Here's to our glorious battle station! Here, here! Here's to our minions' mission being nearly complete! Here, here! and to the mutual destruction of our nemeses. Here's to the best partnership we never saw coming. Cheers. Cheers! Dr. Wily's secret base, Mega Man's world, weeks ago. Don't talk back to me, Ramoon. I said I wanted a met with a rice cooker function, so make it happen. Dr. Wily, I found something in the jungle while on patrol. Sweet mother of Edison, look at the size of that sapphire. Such power. Allow me to process it for you. Forget it. Work on that rice cooker and we'll talk. ER. A spectral analysis shows that it's barrel, sir. Fine, so it's an aquamarine or whatever. I'm no geologist. Ramun said it possessed some sort of power. Let's see. Just what is this? A new energy element, perhaps? Or maybe a- EOW! Meanwhile, Dr. Eggman's base of operations, Sonic's World. Orbot! Cubot! Send out a general holographic signal to my forces throughout the Empire! Coming right up, boss! And... action! Am I... on? You incompetent ingrates! I gave my Empire two simple objections, and you failed both! One! Conquer each region of this planet for me, so I can have complete control of the world. And two, find me that blasted missing Chaos Emerald? Who are you? And how dare you pirate my signal? I'm the only one who gets the pirate signal! Who am I? I am Dr. Albert W. Wiley, the greatest robotics genius on Earth. Bah! I'm the greatest robotics genius on Earth, you say? Tell me, Doctor, what year is it there? 20XX. Why? Interesting. Please excuse my earlier outburst, Doctor. My name is Dr. Eggman, and I am the greatest robotics genius on my world. Your world? You don't look like a space alien. Not how I'd picture one, anyway. Ha 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 ha, no. This is your first time dealing with alternate realities, isn't it? Allow me to explain. There are infinite variations of our worlds. Some are very similar, while others are vastly different. Entire universes existing separate from one another. So, we're from parallel universes. Fascinating. I don't suppose you know anything about bringing order and a better way of thinking to the world with your machines, Doctor? Oh, I do. And I don't suppose you have some young upstart who gets in your way and ruins everything? Do you, Doctor? Oh, you can't begin to imagine. Or perhaps... you can. Quite. We need to meet, and I have an idea as to how. Later, 
somewhere else entirely. Dr. Wily, I presume? A pleasure, Dr. Eggman. Your theories were brilliant. Imagine crafting an entire dimension through the use of chaos energy. What did you call it, uh, zone? Indeed, you manipulated the chaos emerald expertly. Are you sure you hadn't done this before? <laughs> oh, stop. Ah, it's thrilling to set foot here in this new Skull Secret Zone. <laughs> Indeed, except it's the Egg Pocket Zone. No, Skull Secret Zone. Egg Pocket Zone! Skull. Secret. Egg Pocket! Skull! Secret! Egg Pocket! Skull! Egg! Skull Egg Zone! The beauty of this zone isn't just that, it's hidden from prying eyes. It's that it bends the rules of time and space. Ours here are barely seconds in our home dimensions. By combining the resources of your empire, this zone, and the power of my Ramun, we will be able to create the ultimate weapon without fear of limitation or interference. I've built a few battle stations in my day. I can provide the primary design. And I have a flair for internal defenses, so I'll handle the details. Nothing can surpass our combined genius! Or our tireless robot forces. And so... At long last, it's time to christen the Death Egg 3. Care to do the honors, Doctor? No, no, you may christen our wily flying fortress, Doctor. Hmm. Wily Egg. Wily Egg? I christen thy Wily Egg. Later still, aboard the Wily Egg. And now, on to phase two of our plan. Our brilliant plan. Our incredible, brilliant plan. This device, powered by the Chaos Emerald, will allow us to rewrite the very fabric of reality. Rewritten, of course, based on the alterations on both universes that we programmed. Yes, yes, we've gone over all this before. The only question remaining is will Sonic, Mega Man, or any of the other so-called heroes remember us after we rewrite reality? That's the beauty of it. They'll remember exactly what we want them to remember. To everyone but us and our glorious Skull Egg Zone, the world will have simply always been the way we rewrote it. Obviously, we can't erase living beings or their spirits, but we can rearrange time and space to our benefit. Now, if you would kindly press the Cosmic Reset button, Doctor, our realities will be reshaped and primed for our conquest. Don't mind if I do, Doctor. Ah, did it work? Uh, I... I think it did. Yes. Yes! I remember it all now! So much has changed! The past, present, even the future! <laughs> now! to abuse the fuzzy space-time of this zone and resurrect my robot masters! All of them! Of course! But I have an even better idea. Tails' house, Sonic's new world. Moments after the cosmic reset button was pushed. Miles Tails Prower, Sonic's heroic sidekick. And I'll need something to eat, and I should pack my compass just in case. Oh shoot, Sonic's already here! I'm almost done packing for... Hey, kid. The doctors need you for something. Ah! Where am I? Hmm. And you said it can fly with those tails? Indubitably. Fascinating. Dr. Eggman! Hello, Tails. Congratulations. You're going to be part of an experiment. Experiment? What kind of experiment? We're having a hard time sending something from one world into another without a native specimen to accompany it. That's why Base needed Metal Sonic to come with him to your world. So, we came up with the brilliant idea of combining the robotics of Albert's world with the roboticization process of my world, a synergy of robotic science. I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh, children. Utterly hopeless. The short version... We're turning you into a robot master to do our bidding.
Egad! It worked! A complete organic to mechanical transformation! <laughs> Congratulations, Doctor! Our first roboticized master! This is perfect! Talesman can travel freely to both our worlds and find all the other Chaos Emeralds scattered by the Genesis Wave. Talesman? Ha! <laughs> Doesn't seem to have much of a personality, though. All part of the process, Al. You get less sass from your minions that way. I suppose. It's not really one of mine, anyway. You know, Ivo, if Sonic has more friends, we could have a whole army of roboticized masses. It'd make recovering the Chaos Emeralds much easier. You read my mind. What's more, it'll mess with Sonic's head and give us more troops to fight Mega Man. Base, Metal Sonic. We've got more targets for capture. All right, Tailsman. Time to put you to work. Mega Man City, Mega Man's world, post Genesis Wave. Proto Man, heroic brother of Mega Man. All units, respond to attack on the First National Bank. First responders are down. Suspects are armed and highly dangerous. Help! Well, you're pretty brazen bank robbers, I'll give you that. Powerful, too, by the looks of things. Wait. You're not humans in high-powered gear. You're not even regular robots. What are you? We are the roboticized masters. We are your destruction. <laughs>